Welcome, my friends, uh, to a game that's called uh, English. I think it's Des Desire, but it's got one of those um, those E's that has like a little dash thing on top of it. I don't know what it's called, so it's probably pronounced differently. But I'm just going to call it Desire because it kind of looks like that. Or could it be Desiree? I don't know. I'm American. <laughs> so basically, some some of us pronounce things differently. But anyway, so this is an adventure game I found on here. And truth be told that I have played this and recorded it on the first part on my channel. And of course, uh, I got a copyright notification. So basically, I'm going to have to turn off uh, the music. Uh, what I find it at? Volume. No, off. Oh, good. Okay, so there'll be no music here, just me talking. That's okay. It can be entertaining, right? Okay, let's go back to main menu. Okay, so here we go. So basically, it's about this kid. He's colorblind. Um, literally, like the rare type of colorblind where you see in black and white. And, um, well, basically, let the story tell this. When you start hiding from people, it's a sign that you're afraid to play with them. That in, in itself is a disease. We should try to find out why we refuse to get cured of loneliness. Hmm. Good quote. The course based Sebastian Valet at Tony Goa? I don't even know what the saying. I think it's like probably a French game or a Spanish game or what kind of game? Well, animation, okay, so that's, it's English, because I got it in English, it's got other languages, but maybe it's primary, is like, maybe French? Why am I thinking France for some reason? I, I don't know if they have that little dash thing on those E's. Oh, wait, maybe they do. I was thinking something else in Spanish. Okay, the Spanish one has got the, uh, the little squiggle thing, so I think this is basically French. You see, there's that E right there at the end of realist the E. It's got those dash. Desire, why didn't you draw us anything? Desire asked you a question. I don't know. Look, all your friends drew a son. You're not the only one who did not. You're the one, the only one that did not. Don't know, but I never seen the son. Why do you say that, my boy? It's always night in my head. Yeah. See, there it is. Desire. Or Desiree? Desiree? I don't even know. I'm just calling it Desire. 1992! Oh, that was way before I was born. Okay, we're on the beach. Ah, dear tra fellow traveler, I'm so happy to meet you and travel with you along the rocky path to let a surprising story unfold. Do not be quick to judge. At least not before you know how it ends. This story is both rough and delicate. As repulsive as it is endearing. Melancholy and joyful. But most of all, it is a tale, a tale of deep, human and profoundly singular. So let me introduce this young colorblind boy who from birth has only ever perceived the world in black and white. Colors to him are as abstract as, as faith is to atheists, yet they plague his dreams night and day. The boy's name is Desire, and his life path will surely surprise you. But enough chit chat, go find out for yourself. Okay, I should read the spell again. Okay, so with the spell, I'm in the mood to walk on the beach. Actually, you kind of are walk walking on it, and I have to perform this magic so that my feelings are returned. Okay, so where's this spell thing? I will not leave until I've gone through this. Okay, the board. Swimming is allowed. Yeah, I'll put it back in the pen. Oh, I got a pen? Well, it is allowed, but there's no one out there. Why is no one swimming? I mean, this could be a nice day. I don't know. Yeah, so basically... I kind of forgot what I'm supposed to do here. I think uh, get a spell and stuff. I know I played this before, but I don't remember the ins and outs of this game. So I'm playing it again. Okay, is there anything in here? 
Oh, I got a piece of wood. So I think we're... Oh, now I know what we're doing. Okay, so basically we need to bury something. The beach is clean. Well, one, two boxes there. So it's clean, but not that clean. Go inside. Okay, I'm just going to keep waiting. Oh, can we? Oh. A saw, hammer, nails. I have everything. Oh, good. I think we go into this inventory and, like, build something. Oh, wait, wait, wait we got a sandwich. Can I eat the sandwich? I'll keep the egg from my snack from the magic. Oh, okay. So, I ate my sandwich. Okay. I'm going to eat something. A boat. I don't think it, it's in a state to float. It's in a... If I had friends, we could fix it and sail away. Discover new horizons. I should read the spell again. Okay, okay, let's read it. Okay. Hmm. Page 17. Spell to make anyone fall in love with you. Number one, make a small wooden box. Two, write the name of your loved one on an egg. Three, place egg, place the egg inside the wooden box and bury the box away from sunlight for a month. Sounds simple enough. Let's go do that. Hey, a shovel. Oh, it's a spade. Well, tempting, but no. Wait, no, get this, the shovel. What are you supposed to do? Hey, a hole. Oh. Probably some kid was digging to make a sandcastle. Kid forgot his spade. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I know that. Okay. Can we combine the tools together? So this, I read or not. Okay, no. Maybe saw this? Okay, we've got to saw this board in half. Now I have six sticks. Now, do we nail them? Oh, wait, we got to write on the egg. Okay. What am I writing to? Here we go. I have the written of name of my loved one on this egg. As the book says. It's not really a book. It's just a page. Or a scroll. Or whatever. Maybe look at that. Hey, we still got the sandwich. I thought you ate the sandwich. Uh, oh, well. Maybe you can combine these. Okay. Wait, where am I going? I guess I'm going this way now. Okay. Wow, I'm a fast builder. It's not exactly a masterpiece, but it will do. But that was amazing. You built that so fast. You could become a construction worker. Or basically a builder. Or, I don't know, architect, artist. Anything with that sort of talent. I guess that's not what he wants. The egg is warm. Okay. Why is it warm? Was it in your pocket? Was it with the sandwich? I don't know. It's just a remark. I think. Where's the saying? Okay, can we put it in here? Probably. Okay, in, yeah, yeah, I know. So, can we put this in here? Okay. It's buried, so we got along that quickly. It's the most pathetic story I ever heard. And you ever, can you imagine I heard a few in my time? You're making fun of me. Not cool. For good reasons. You think you're just asking for it? Like a rod for your own back, you don't be surprised if someone uses it. I'm hopeless. I tell you what's hopeless, always talking yourself down. It's not like anyone died. Cheer up if you're alone. Ha <laughs> ha. There's this boy I like, although I like girls too. It's the first time I ever felt something for a boy at school. I don't understand what's happening to me. I feel completely lost. What's more, he's such an efficient boy. Poor soul, sounds like you're confused emotionally. That's all. Your desires are more tainted inside you. I tried to avoid kitchen sink psychology, but you sort of assert yourself within your interest. You keep down mid too often and let your anxiety eat up you from the inside. I feel so lonely among others. Much more at ease in my corner. Do as you will, but I have to stay. Say that your voodoo magic is unnerving. Eh? Take charge of your life eh, instead of waiting for the miracle that never comes. That never comes. 
But why am I always attracted to boys my age? I don't have a bloody clue, and I don't give a monkeys about your gay stories. I know you for a good while, and I always noticed it. This lack of confidence that makes you doubt everything. Hmm. You're probably drawn to affectionate boys because you're scared to talk to girls. If you don't want to end up with a feather bow up your vertebral, you're going to have to work at it. Two men together? Does that shook you? Shock you? Disgusting. But that's only my opinion, so don't talk it badly. Makes me sick. As the saying goes, to each his own. Ha ha. Okay, so I'm kind of doing like impressions here. So I did this old man. Pretty amazing, I think. And I'm just using my newer voice to, for the boy talk. So we can actually talk to him for a while, or we can leave. Uh, since um, I'm just going to not really in a hurry or anything. We can just uh, sit around here and chat a bit. To Hands off, you foolish boy. You know, if you connect in Nereo, you might actually be able to watch some TV. I don't care about it, the stupid box. My viewers' stress tapes are more than enough for me. A lot of these words that I don't understand, like the aerial thing, whatever. I mean, I'm in 11th grade, so I should know a lot of vocabulary, but I don't really look into new words much. So, with stuff I don't really understand. So don't judge me at that. Hey, a clock. Let's go look at the clock. I helped him to plug in his tape recorder. Okay, can't you just call it like a VCR? Are you talking about that kind of tape recorder? So, I guess uh, the character I'm playing as is... Bisexual? Good way to put it? I don't know. Because I only played like one part of this, so I don't really know a lot of this game. But we're just going to talk to Grandpa or something. Well, I don't think he's my grandpa. Okay, why is he called the old man? Why are you called the old man? Don't you have a first name? I am so old, I cannot remember my name. I don't believe you. No one forgets their name. Aha, you gotta know, kid, that this miserable rock of a planet, everybody lies. I don't. Without exception, trust me, without exception. I wish I had a granddad like you. Unfortunately, I was born too late to have known my grandparents. Uh, don't forget your mineral grandmother. Yes, but she died recently. The surgeons took one of her legs, uh, Gandridge, but they didn't warn her. When she woke up, she couldn't take it. She let herself die. She would have let her suffer than lose a leg. I'm so sorry. All I have left is my aunties. Uh, such temperamental aunts. Okay, so now we know he lives with his aunts, aunts, how you ever pronounce it. So, and we don't know his name, so we just call an old man. He's not his grandfather, because he's dead. What about his mom or dad? Okay, so I know his dad uh, is around, but I'm not sure about his mom. We haven't done that deep in the story yet. I want to hear your fantastic stories. Okay, so, hang on, we're going to ask some basically short, generic questions before we go through the stories. Because talking... I get a lot lost alive on my mouth, so let's go do this real short and then do that. Why do you always watch the same videos? The more you focus on something, the more you learn. Sometimes sequences I've watched many times before appear brand new to me. There's always that golden nugget that's escaped us. I know you're missing out on TV, but don't you miss me out? There's nothing to miss. TV bores me stupid. No need to watch it to have already seen it all. It offends me. It's like being assaulted in my own home. It makes me numb and my body and spirit paralyzes me. It invades my personal space. I won't be able to move beyond limits, any limits. I want to soar between stars. I want to float, free of gravity, no crashing, no eating dust. I want to shape my destiny with my own hands. For all the reasons, I refuse to let toxic waves pour in me. I don't follow you. Sorry for losing it a bit. Sometimes I forget your age. You're only 12. Hmm. Your words will resonate differently when you get older. You'll see. I'm certain of that. 
Okay, so if I say things wrong or words out of place, because I'm reading fast, because um, I want to get through all the words, I don't want to miss any, because I'm kind of a, well, I'm not that fast of a reader, but um, I just want, I don't know what I'm saying, I and mean, I just want to get all through the words, I don't want to miss them, I don't know how fast this thing goes, but um, you can touch the words and then move on to the other one so we don't have to wait a bit, so that's what I do. So, sorry if I make words a bit mixed up a bit, but hey, I'm doing the best I can. And you probably read them as well. Okay, ballet is boring. <laughs> Let's just say that. Ballet is so boring. Wrong, boy. It's far more interesting than you think. These bodies in motion are so exquisite. Such beautiful harmony. Believe me. It's corny. <laughs> Because you're just a kid and don't pay attention to what's all around you. Stop looking at the world from the outside. Dive in. You keep stroking the vial of the obscure's life. Tear it apart. Get rid of it. So what about you? What do you see when you watch the ballerina? Lightness. Yes. That's it. Lightness. The subtleness of steps fascinate me. It's a rare gift these days. You understand when you get older. When you learn to recognize how clumsy man is, I get lost in clumsiness. I sink into the mirror of this drunken heaviness. David bullies me at school. Okay, so David is the bully. Huh. I'm getting tired of reading. If only they had, like, voiceovers. Maybe they do, I just don't know. I don't think they did, even I have the the music, the, yeah, volume on. So I'm just going to have to read for now. So you get to hear my voice more. Okay, let's talk about David. David bullies me at school. Who's he? The spotty kid you mentioned before? Yes, he keeps bullying me to take advantage. He steals my stuff. All this because he knows I'm frightened of him. What are you afraid of, exactly? He tells me everybody's my secret. If all my friends heard, I would be ashamed for the rest of my life. You got that right, boy. It's crazy imitation. He's older than you. He's got you by the boss. <laughs> the boss? And I suppose we're stupid enough to go along with it. I don't have a choice. Bollocks! Don't be a stupid git. We always have a choice. But you have to want it. It's simple. You decide to either throw caution to the wind and lie into him? Which seems unlikely, given your size and your lack of confidence. You play it subtle, with a light touch and some creativity. Use your brain to counterattack and hoist him on his batard? Please do me a favor and help me set a trap for him. To each his own. It's your problem, not mine. We face the harshness of life cruelly alone. I can't do anything for you. A few tips, but that's all. What tips? If I were you, I wouldn't beat around the bush. The best of form of defense is to attack. To rid of yourself of a bully, you have to sit on your sculptures. It's no hold the bard. I'm not after revenge. You got nothing to do with revenge, boy. You're right, revenge is a waste of time and energy. Only for the or I'm not saying that. I'm tired of talking about respect and humility. Find his weakness and humiliate him before he humiliates you. His weakness? Hmm. Acne? No! That's such a mean spirited angle. Not his fault, poor boy. Look for a weakness only he is held responsible for. Hmm. Nope, I got nothing. Guilty of something? Not that I know of. A secret vice? Nope. A bad habit? Hmm. Yes, he has one. He jerks off every several times a day. Can't help himself. <laughs> there you go. Ruled by addiction that girls won't find very enticing. Shut him up. Not really much of a secret. At school, everyone knows he likes big... You know. Use your brain. Have a little bit of imagination. Have a laugh for once in your sorry life. Hmm. Catch him red-handed, so to speak? <laughs> Love the idea. But how? Rubbing one off the school toilets? <laughs> You're a fast learner. Go on. 
It won't work without witnesses. Why not to try to embarkize the scene? My father's camera? Then I'll use this phone lap to negative, develop the negative. And the picture does the rounds at school. Ha ha. Just be careful if you're the only one to have the print. I'll use the photocopier at school. I have plenty to give out. In your face, my dear! Yeah, this um, this game is kind of mature. So if you don't get all this stuff, then, then maybe watch one of my appropriate type videos. But for this, it's kind of again, at a mature level. I'm 17, so I'm pretty kind of mentally mature enough <laughs> to play. So, I don't think I'm up to it. Oh, come on. I'm not going to tell him that. I like to... I kind of like to get the bully back on here, so let's see how this turns out. I just hope it doesn't show too much. So, um, there's a lot of talking here. So, I was going to hear one of his fascinating stories, but I wonder if we can do that another time. Because here, we're just basically talking about stuff. So, it was getting boring for you, so I'm just going to... Uh, better escape. Oh, no, I can't escape. Oh, yes, I can. I had to press the inbox. Okay. So... It just we can walk out. To, it's so dusty. Never seen it tell the time. Time no longer matters to me. I live outside of it. Okay, so we'll just go. Maybe we'll talk to him later. But um, home is this way. What is this? I want to go down here. Can I? Go to oh no, we're going to home first. Hey, live across. Okay, so these are right ants. This is Aunt Lucia, and this is Aunt Nina. I never talked to them. Okay, so uh, okay, I think we are in France because it's because French fries, France. You kind of put the two together. So I didn't really talk to them because they looked busy or they looked mean. So. And you can you can kind of decipher they're not really at quality enough of guardians because um, gambling and yeah stuff. But anyway, uh, the photo lab is this way, so we're gonna get the camera. Avert your eyes to the screen over there. And where else? Censor it out. So I think it's my dad right here. Yeah, hi dad. How you doing? Um, uh, the new aisle, uh, new issue of Tilt is out. What are you doing? Can you help? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, wait, no! Okay, can you tell me anything about the photo? Sure. Not now. I have to work. I'll show you tonight. Okay, so that's not what I meant to do. I meant to tell him this. What are you doing? Developing photos for a client of Walters. Okay. I'm going to tell him about the new issue. New is issue. I'll tilt this out. To so? You want it? Yes. How much is it? Twenty-eight francs? It's expensive. Ask your mother if she agrees. Oh, he does have a mom. But where is his mom? I never met his mom. I never got that far into the game. So he does have a mom. He's got a mom and a dad and his aunt. I guess. Okay. So his mom and dad. So they are guardians. I thought it was like his aunt's were and his dad was just like having trouble. So no, he does have a mom, but maybe they're divorced because I haven't seen her yet. Um, do you need something? No, thanks. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm off to buy a croissant at the Monterey. I'm going to see mom. I'm going to the news agents. I'm going to play cards with the aunties. I'm going swimming! <laughs> I'm there. I'm just going to say okay. Okay. So, you won't be able to get the camera without him noticing you. So, you're going to have to tell him that Aunt Nina needs you. And then we're going to need to get the camera. So, Aunt Nina needs you. What does she want? I don't know. She said only she wanted you. Okay, so we can go get the camera right here. Because exactly that's what we need. Now... I'm going to go up here, take down this repulsive picture. That's not for you. Duh! Uh, okay, never mind. I mean, you actually can take out that picture, but he has to be gone. 
So, but I got the camera, so I got all that needs. So I'm just gonna, no, I'm just gonna leave. I wasn't even looking at that picture. I mean, a slight glance, but no, it's repulsive. I mean, to me, that is. I'm trying to be innocent. Okay, so this is where I stopped last time. I mean, it was a little longer because it was the first time I was playing. Um, I guess we can talk to the ants. Um, have you played the new slot machine this morning? You played the slot machines? Yes, I won a lot. My aunt Nina lost everything. Let me get his lap. Let's see the barrel. What do you do with the money if you hit the jackpot? To I give it to the pie. But most of the money's run out the window, sir. So. I earned my money by working hard my whole life. Now I spent it I want to for fun. If I win, it's different. Okay, so I'm not really good at female voices because I'm a male. <laughs> so I can't. I just got to try to get the other lady like this. <laughs> How long have you two lived together? For as long as we can remember. Okay. What about Aunt Nina? Where am I going? You talk to her right now. Are you still mad at me about the french fries? Are you still mad at me about the french fries? Pardon? We went last to eat water park. You were annoyed with me because I didn't ask you if you wanted to try my food. Thanks. I'm not angry. Okay, so she doesn't really recall past history. Don't you get bored in France? Uh, that should be a question. What? Don't you miss uh, Trenti or Southern Italy? The traveling was really tiring. Are you staying for long? Hmm. When are we going back, Aunt Lucia? Why do you always ask me the same questions? I remember, but I have all sorry for her. Nonsense! Don't you remember, take any effort to remember. That's the trouble. Three weeks. We go back in three weeks. We had lunch. Good meal at Casino Vert. And you? Not really hungry, and the food in the school canteen really sucks. Canteen food? School meals. Come to eat at home this week. Okay, yeah. So basically, school food sucks. Actually, my school, uh, the chicken fried steak is amazing with mashed potatoes and gravy. You know, it's so amazing. But we only have it that every Thursday, right? We are there Thursday. I guess we can try to play cards with her. I mean, I don't really have to go. Um, can I play with you? Do you know the rules of Scapa? Uh, nope, I never played. Let's finish our game and I'll teach you the rules. My turn? Yes, hurry up, will ya? Wait, I'm thinking. I'll come back. Okay, so, I'm with him. I never played Scopa before. I don't even know what Scopa is. The, the card games I played was the good old classic of Goldfish, which almost everybody knows how to play. Slapjack, which is also very easy. Blackjack, uh, which is easy when you get used to it. Uh, and um, War, which is that long, time-consuming game. Poker, I tried to give it a try, and then I just couldn't, I couldn't really get it much, so I had to give up on that. But it's not like, I don't have to play four card games. There's probably more, I just don't know. Oh, Solitaire, yeah. I know how to play Solitaire, and actually won a couple of times at that, so, yeah, there's five card games I know how to play. I don't know, okay, so, Desire's Bedroom, oh, I had a bedroom here? Oh, I need to clean it up. Hey, is this a lot of VHS chess tapes? I have a few games just from, from LucasArts Adventure Games. Uh, LucasArts? Uh, I think I played some of them. This is the Lego games? Uh, I think those were the Lego games. Oh my gosh, why do you have an It uh, poster right there? It's got... It's Pennywise! Uh, wait, is that my room? 
Um, probably that's probably not sure that's my room. I think that's the other bedroom. The door. Okay. Whoa. Who are you? Who's this? Oh, it's Bruno. When's the bodybuilding competition? We're going to see 1492 Conquest of Days with Dimitri. So, is Bruno like my brother? Um, I'm not sure because I never met Bruno in this game. Um, what are you reading nowadays? Okay. When's the bodybuilding competition? And too much. It's really hard in the last month when you're near to wear your food and watch your calorie intake. A month is a long time. Are you gonna make it? I'll do everything. I can reach my goal. I won't give up. I'll clap every time you're on stage. Thanks a lot. You really know how to make a difference. Silence will really put me off. More than I can get whistled and booed. To the instant, silence is the most corrosive of acids. Okay, so I'm trying to sound like real muscular and stuff, but it's just like, it just sounds like I'm doing an accent of a strong man of some sort. I don't know what accent it is, but I'm trying to look strong, okay? What's the story with that gym? Are you talking about the war near Arnie trains? Yes, on the beach. Is that true? Venice Beach, it's a town in the States on the West Coast. I'd love to go there. Maybe we'll go one day. Okay, I think I probably know the accent. Maybe it's kind of a strong man who's Swedish. Oh yes, I would like to taste the meatball. <laughs> I think that's what this kind of sounds like to me. Like, a very strong mus muscular man who's Swedish. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but I'm just going to go with it. I just got such amazing to do with voices. So, um, are we going to go see the movie? Sure, if you want. I'll go to Braun and find out when it's playing. Okay, what are you reading nowadays? I'm reading the third tone, tone of it. What's next? Not sure. You have to really be good to recommend. Always interested. Oh, so he is reading it. <laughs> so that's what his poster right there. He's got the it poster on there. For me, I tried watching, reading it. And I got a little far, almost to the middle, but then I gave up. But I'm gonna go back to it. It's got a lot of interesting, more detailed of the than the movies. I've seen both of them. Okay, so how's the your, about your project only in your own gym? When I graduate, I'll work hard and set up my own gym. Lucia will help me found it. Lucia changes her mind as often as her mood changes. I know by personal experience. She promises the moon and her inheritance, and the slightest slip of fopas and reneges on her word. I don't trust her anymore. She gives me 50,000 lirros every time I go to mass. Not to me. You're her favorite. That's different. Mom doesn't force me to go to church anymore. I'm like you. It's the another way to force me. Mom doesn't like it. I know. I'm not sure what favor he can do to me, but I'm just going to, like, you know, not talk to him. He's going to just go look in this outside or something. Okay, so I guess that was my brother. 286, what is that? It's my PC, a 286 with 200 megabytes hard disk and 2 megabytes of RAM. I have a Windows 3.1 installed, but I like programming games in basic under DOS. Okay. Anything in this closet? I'm perfectly well dressed, thank you. Well, uh, so you know you're being controlled by a 17 year old boy? <laughs> I guess so. Walkman, what's that? The batteries are out. Oh, the Walkman! <laughs> oh, it's one of those old <laughs> track players. Cool. So, multi socket? One of my three sockets is so defective. So, we're in 1992. So, basically, those things were kind of modern. So, living the old era. Can I go to bed? I don't know. I know. I might start by here because I don't know how long I've been playing. 
I don't know. <laughs> but I am going to continue this series next time in part two. So this will be another ser series I'm doing. Not another <laughs> escape game. Just a point and click adventure type game. So thank you all for watching Desire. As I'm calling it. But if you know a correct pronunciation. You can leave it in the comment below. And then maybe I'll use it if I can. Or maybe I'll look it up myself. I don't know. What's this? Oh wait, I can't touch it. That thing on the ceiling. I guess that's my light for some reason. So I'll be sure to like the videos and subscribe to my channel. And check out the other videos for my channel as well. Well, this is Burpie. Goodbye! Next time.